In the vast upheaval of redevelopment in North Kensington, few regret the replacing of old slums with new homes. But there's one aspect of redevelopment here that's not proving at all popular. When the Silchester Road Baths building comes down to make way for a new Olympic pool, it'll take with it an aspect of local life which the council don't want to replace, the public laundry. Since 1886, the housewives of Notting Dale have been coming to this part of the Baths building to do their washing. Today's laundry users haven't taken too kindly to a council offer to provide a laundrette instead. They want to carry on washing the way they've always done it. You find an awful lot of things in here that you'd never see in a laundrette. For instance, this lovely old lead sink here. Now, the idea of the, of the way they wash here is that you get all your washing soaking away in this lovely hot water with bags of foam, you see, and then you get this grubbing boards out. That goes across there like that. This one goes across there like that. And it's surprising how quickly you can get the hang of this. Then you get your faithful old scrubber. And anything like cuffs, of course, you see, you need a good bit of foam there. And a good old scrub. You give the whole thing a good scrub. Then in this back sink here, you've got hot water, which you boil up with this steam tap there. Give that a good old boil, it really loosens off all the dirt. Bring it back in here, but this time you've got cold water, or rather clean water, not cold water, clean water in your rinsing sink. Rinse it out and you're ready for the dryer. Electric tumblers are one concession to modern gadgetry, but for the next stage in the laundering process, it's back to basic principles again. These are what they call the drying horses. And again, they're beautifully simple. You just get your washing, which is sort of half dry. You hang it over this, like that, or a bit better than that, if you're good at it. A couple of those on there, and of course you fill the whole thing if you're doing it properly. Bang, in it goes again. Half an hour, they're dry. Kensington and Chelsea Council say that to build a new laundry on the same lines would cost too much at £80,000. So instead, they've offered a £25,000 laundrette with eight modern washing machines and four dryers. It may sound like less hard work and more convenience, but the washerwomen of North Kensington don't see it that way. We enjoy it. I've come three times a week. I've got four kids. Yeah. I've you got can't. an automatic indoors, but I can't get it as so good as I get it here. You can't do ironing in a laundry yet, can you? No. If they just had the dryers, the washing machines, the air horses, yeah. and the ironers. But isn't it sort of much easier work in a laundry? No, come off me. Who wants to do it? Anyway, if the laundry doesn't get your washing clean enough. Now, you've got a very famous son, Alan Mullery, haven't That's you? That's right, yeah. Did you used to wash his clothes in I here? I did. I used to wash 12 shirts a time for my Alan and Arnhem. All white he was shirts. heavy on shirts, was he? Every day, twice a day. Yes, and I came over here and done them. So what do you particularly like about it? Is it the atmosphere or the scrubbing? Or well, not only the atmosphere, but it's the convenience we've got here, isn't it? And that's what we want if they do a new laundry for us. They must get us a new laundry. So what are you going to do about it if the council say, well, you've got to have a laundrette? We can't go to it, can we? What will we do? We don't know what we will do. Well, one of the, the complaints one does hear in that area is that the council is spending, I think, something like six million on a new town hall, where 25,000 is, is all that gets um, provided on a rather important local amenity, and this is regarded as not good housekeeping. Uh, yes, all right. Um, it's obviously sensible to concentrate all your services in a town hall. In one site, you can get more efficient service for everybody, and in the end, it's more economic. But you know, there's an awful, awful lot of money being spent on uh, for uh, amenities for people. We have arranged a uh, meeting with the, the users and we're going to discuss, in fact, what the real needs are, in fact, so they can see what they really require, uh, what they're using at present, in the new one. I was struck by the number of younger women who seem to like the hand-washing system. 
And they claim that the numbers will go up again when new housing comes into the area. How can you argue against that? Ah, well, you see, I would argue ab about this because we've looked at the figures. In fact, we expected them to go up last year because of the new housing in the area. But again, they went down. All I do say is if they can afford to make a new town hall, they can afford to do a bath for the public. 